the Guardianship and Administration Act 1990 allows for the appointment of guardians who can protect the rights and well-being of adults who have difficulties making decisions. These disabilities may be due to intellectual disability, mental illness, acquired brain injury or dementia. The law empowers the State Administrative Tribunal to appoint guardians to represent adults with decision-making disabilities. It also allows adults with full legal capacity to appoint enduring guardians. A person with a decision-making disability may require a guardian to make personal, lifestyle and treatment decisions that are in their best interest. The law aims to balance an individual's right to make decisions for themselves with the need to protect vulnerable people from abuse and exploitation and ensure that informed decisions are made on their behalf. A guardian is a responsible person appointed by the law to make decisions on behalf of the person they represent. The guardian can be a close friend or family member, but if no one else is available, the public advocate may be appointed by the tribunal to serve as a guardian. If a guardian from the office of the public advocate is appointed, they will work with the person represented. Guardianship may be considered when there is a need for a legal authority to make decisions in the best interests of a person with a decision-making disability. There is unresolved conflicts among family members or primary care providers about the person's best interests. There is a concern that the person may be at risk of neglect, exploitation or abuse. A guardian is not necessary when informal arrangements can ensure the best interests of a person with a decision-making disability. For example, a substitute decision maker is not needed when a person with a decision making disability can manage and maintain a reasonable quality of life for themselves. An enduring guardian has been appointed and is acting in the person's best interest. The person is adequately supported and cared for by others. There are no personal or family conflicts about the person's care and support needs. There are no major problems or issues that pose an immediate or imminent threat to the person's quality of life. In Western Australia, the majority of individuals with decision-making disabilities may have family or friends who can make decisions on their behalf. However, for those who do not have anyone suitable to act in their best interest, community guardians can play a similar role. Community guardians are volunteers appointed by the Office of the Public Advocate to act in the best interests of a person in need of a guardian. The program was launched in 2005 and has made a significant impact on the lives of some of the most vulnerable people in our society. Before being matched with a client, community volunteers receive training and ongoing support from the Office of the Public Advocate. You can find out more about community guardians on our website. On our website, you can also find out more information about how to become a guardian, enduring power of attorney, and enduring power of guardianship.